This is the easiest creeper farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. Alright, the first thing you want to do is find yourself an ocean, and then you're going to build a giant tower all the way up to Y level 111, and if you want an easy way to get up here, then I recommend building this tower out of scaffolding. Alright, at the top of your tower now, we're going to build ourselves a 4x4 platform, so 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, and 3. Go ahead and connect these up to create that platform, and we're going to go ahead and grab a chest, place down two chests in the center of the platform, and then run two hoppers into the back of that chest. Now this is going to be where we stand when we AFK, so make this place as big as you want. You can add another layer here, or you can build yourselves a whole room. Make sure that this area is lit up though with torches or whatnot, that way you don't have any mobs spawning on your AFK platform. All right, grab your blocks, and we're gonna build a C shape around the hoppers and the chest, just like this. Then we're going to grab our pistons and we're going to place down a piston right here and a piston right here so that they're looking at one another on the opposite sides of those hoppers. We're then going to grab two observers and we're going to place down an observer looking in this direction and then an observer looking in that direction so that we have this red dot flashing back and forth. We're then going to grab our blocks and we're going to place down a block right here, 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 and here just to complete that layer. We can go ahead and place down two levers in the front of the farm. Go ahead and turn both of those on so that the pistons aren't firing. We're going to be using these later, but for right now, just leave them like this. We're then going to grab our glass and we're going to place down a glass block here and then two more on top of it and then two next to it to create this little backwards P. And we're going to grab our slabs now and we're going to place down a slab right here and this is going to be where you AFK and that way you're going to get all of the XP from the farm. After we've built the Trident Killer, we are going to go ahead and build up 19 blocks from this layer. So one, two, three, so on, all the way up to 19. And I actually just realized that since we're building over an ocean as our reference point, everyone should have this block be on Y level 132. Also, I apologize if you hear thunder. It is currently thunderstorming really loud outside my house. After you have built this tube, we are going to build out by six blocks in every direction. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I'm sure you guys get the idea. Build out six blocks in every direction, and then we're going to connect them all up to create a giant platform. And if you want to double check to make sure it's the right size, it should be a 15 by 16 long platform. And this is what it should look like when you're done. We're going to go ahead and build up the walls now. So we want these walls to be eight blocks tall. So this one counts as the first block. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to build a giant ring all the way around this platform. And this is what it should look like when you're done. And you also want to throw on the roof of the farm, which is literally just a giant slab of blocks on the eighth block that you placed at the top of the tower. So on the inside of this room, it should be a six tall ceiling. All right, go into every corner of the farm and place down one, two, three, four blocks, and then just create a triangle going down by one block in every direction. And again, we're going to do this in every single corner, nice and simple. Then we're going to go ahead and place down water buckets on top of every single one of these platforms so that we have a giant water stream leading into this chamber here. So grab your water, place it in the corner of the room, just like this. And as you see, all of the water is going to lead directly into this chamber. All right, after placing down the water, grab your blocks, come over to one of these corners, go one block over from the corner, and then up three. Place down a temporary block here and then a normal block. Break the temporary block and this is going to be where we start our platform. So grab your blocks and just create a giant platform that goes all the way across the room, leaving a one block gap from the walls. So just create a giant square like this. Following the trend of the rest of the farm, go ahead and fill in that square with blocks to create a giant platform. Then we're going to come underneath of that platform we're going to place down two temporary blocks here just so that we can stand here. We're going to go ahead and mark these blocks like so. Go ahead and remove the temporary blocks and then come back up to the top of the farm. Go ahead and place that block back and then place down a pressure plate. Place down the block and then a pressure plate. The reason why we're using pressure plates here is because this is going to be where our cat sits. 
and this is just an easy way of marking out the area. Grab your trap doors and place down trap doors going all the way around the platform just like this. Don't worry about opening them up yet. We're just going to place them down and then open them up after. It's a lot easier if you do it in that order. And again, we're just wrapping these all the way around the platform. All right, after you've wrapped them around the platform, go ahead and close all of the trap doors like this. Literally easier than placing them down, especially in survival mode. And then after you have all of these trap doors placed, the next thing that we're going to do is set down our buttons. Now these buttons are used so that spiders do not spawn inside of the farm, because if spiders spawn in here, that is going to completely ruin the farm and you will not have creepers spawning. So we're gonna go into the corner of the platform, place down a button, and then in an alternating checkerboard pattern, we're gonna place down buttons on every other block like this. And we're gonna do this for the entire platform going all the way across, again, ignoring those pressure plates because that's gonna be where the cat sits. The last thing we have to do in terms of building is getting trap doors on the roof of the farm. So go to every empty block that doesn't have a button, look directly up and place down a trap door, and then mark it just like this. Now the easiest way I find to do this is to place down a trap door on the starting block and then very similar to the way that you did the buttons, just go in an alternating pattern, but make sure not to fall off. And also don't place trap doors where you don't need to. You don't need to place the trap doors over top of the buttons. That's just a waste of wood. And when it's all said and done, this is what it should look like. Having alternating trap doors looks super cool. And I actually did exactly what I said not to do. Don't place trap doors we don't need to. You do not need trap doors over top of those pressure plates. All right, it's time to get a cat in here. I recommend using a staircase to lure him up here. However, in my case, I'm just gonna simply spawn him in, go ahead and tame the cat, and then push him on top of these pressure plates. Then this guy is gonna sit here and he's gonna scare all of the creepers off of the platform which actually makes this platform more efficient than other designs because you don't have all of the holes, so there are more spots for creepers to spawn in. And the only thing left to do now is go ahead and turn these pistons back on so that they fire back and forth, and then go ahead and throw your trident at one of the pistons or just in the chamber, and then that is exactly where not to throw it. <laughs> go ahead and throw the trident at one of those pistons or just aim for that observer. Now, it doesn't look like the trident is moving. However, it definitely is and this is going to be what kills all of the creepers. Now to increase the rates of the farm, go ahead and hold a looting three sword. I'm actually gonna go grab one, and then we can go ahead and AFK. All right, so with my looting three sword, the only thing left to do is go ahead and stand next to the slab. Get as close as you want. The creepers aren't gonna explode, and you're gonna collect all of the XP. This thing isn't a super efficient XP farm, but any XP is good XP. And again, all of the gunpowder is gonna end up inside of that chest, but that is going to do it for today's video. I'm gonna end this before my power goes out. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. A world download will also be on my Discord, so go ahead and join that and download it if you're having difficulties. Um, but yeah, my name is 1FMC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.